everyone, welcome back for another Storytime online adventure. My name is Miss Kristen and I'm one of the storytellers with the Orange County Library System. And just like always, our Storytime adventure is built around the five activities encouraged by every child ready to read. These are activities that we want you to do every day in order to gain those great pre-reading skills. Those five activities that we're going to use today are reading, singing, writing, talking, and playing. Now, all together, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. So if you're ready, let's go. Let's go ahead and get out our hello hands and we'll say hello to each other before we get started. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Very good. I am so glad you're here today and I know we're gonna have lots of fun. So we've said hi to each other. Let's get warmed up one more way with our open shut them song. And I think we'll add a new opposite to our song today. Cause remember open and shut are opposites. They're totally different in every way. So let's sing our open shut them song and let's see if we can add a new opposite to that song. Are you ready? Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chinny chin. Open up your little mouth, but don't do it. Do not let them in. All right, that was really good. So remember, open is the opposite of shut or closed. So we're gonna use our hands again. We're gonna add a new set of opposites. And this time we're gonna go up, and down, okay? Up is the opposite of down. Are you ready? Here we go. Up and down them, up and down them, up and down and up, down, up. Up and down them, up and down them, up and down and up, down, up. <gasps> Did you get that? Very good, well done everyone. Well, I think we've said hello, we're warmed up, and we're ready to go on a story time adventure. Now, do you see what letter we're going to use for our story time adventure today? That's right, we're going to use the letter O. This is the letter O. The name of this letter is O. And this letter is a special letter because it makes two sounds. Sometimes the letter O says, ah, ah. Sometimes the letter O says, oh, oh. That second sound sounds a lot like its name, doesn't it? Well, that's the sound we're going to use today. We're going to use the sound O that the letter O makes. One more time, O. Very good. Let's put that O sound at the beginning of some words. Are you ready? O, O, oval. Do you see this shape? This shape is an oval. It's like a circle, but longer. We call it an oval. Very good. Let's use our O sound again. Ready? O, O, orange. Do you see the orange? Do you like to eat oranges? I do. They're so yummy. And we're so lucky. We have lots of oranges that grow right here where we live in Florida. Let's do another one. Are you ready? How about O, O, orangutan. This is an orangutan. Orangutans live in the jungle. They are so much fun. All right, good job using your O sound today. We're going to use that very special O sound at the beginning of a word that's going to be our theme for story time. So let's get it out one more time. O, O, ocean. Right, we're going on an ocean. 
Mission Adventure today. You know what that means? We've got to get ready to go. Did you see that? We're in the ocean today. Very good, everyone. Let's learn a new sign to add to all of the signs we've learned together so far. And the sign we're going to learn today is the sign for ocean. So to sign ocean, we're going to use our hands right in front of us, flat and open, just like this. And we're going to use them to use the motion of the ocean, which is a wave like this. Can you make your hands move like a wave? Very good. That's how we sign ocean. Just make your hands move like the waves of the ocean. You can use that same sign for the word sea. Ocean and sea are two words that mean almost the same thing. So we're going to use our sign for ocean and go on an ocean adventure. Let's start off with this song called Take Me Out to the ocean. Are you ready? Here we go. Take me out to the ocean. Take me out to the sea. There I see a starfish and a dolphin with a spin. I'm having such fun. I might just dive right in. Then I'll swim, swim, swim underwater. Catch a ride on a whale. Do not fear. For the sea animals are our friends. So let's give a great big cheer. Hooray! Good job, you guys. Well done. All right, don't forget your sign for ocean is to make the motion of the ocean and curl your hands into some waves. I hope you get to use that sign a lot today. Are you ready for an ocean adventure? Let's go. Do you see? We have some ocean friends who have come out to play with us. Let's check the board and see who came out to play. Are you ready? Look, I see a blue dolphin and I see an orange octopus. Here is a green seahorse. Down here is a pink starfish and next to the starfish is a red crab. Let's see, let's count how many friends came out to play. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five ocean friends came out to play with us? How exciting! All right, here we go. Five little ocean friends on the ocean floor. Off swam the starfish, and now there are only four. Let's count that just to be sure. Ready? One, two, three, and four. All right, four little ocean friends living in the sea. Off scuttled the crab. There he goes, he's scuttling away. And now there are only three. Count with me. One, two, three. Good job. Three little ocean friends looking for a clue. Off jumped the dolphin. Eee, eee, eee. And now there are only two. That's right, let's count. One, two. Two little ocean friends not having much fun. So away swam the seahorse. And now there's only one. Do you see the one friend who's left? It's the octopus, isn't it? One little octopus, sad because he's all alone. But then back swims the seahorse, and back jumps the dolphin, and back scuttles the crab, and back comes the starfish. And together, all five ocean friends play in their ocean home. Good job, you guys, playing with all of our ocean friends together. I'm so glad you're a good friend. Now, this is a sing-along story all about a little fish named Slippery Fish. This is Slippery Fish right here. He has a pretty big adventure, so let's see what happens. Sing along with me, and we'll do the hand motions as well. Remember, when we use our hands, it helps our brains to remember faster and better. So, for Slippery Fish, we're going to use our hand and make it swim in the water, just like this. Are you ready? Here we go. 
Slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, do you know what happened? Slippery fish got eaten by a much bigger tuna fish. All right, so for tuna fish, we're gonna put our hands together and swim in the water. Here we go. Tuna fish, tuna fish, swimming in the water. Tuna fish, tuna fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh, oh no! Do you know what happened? Tuna fish got eaten by a big red octopus. Do you see that? Do you see the octopus and all of his eight legs? All right, we're gonna be an octopus now. Here's our body and here's our legs. Here we go. Octopus, octopus, swimming in the water. Octopus, octopus, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh, oh no! Do you know what happened? Octopus got eaten by a great bull shark. Do you see the great big bull shark? Okay, let's get our shark fin out right up here. And we're gonna swim like a shark. Ready, here we go. A great bull shark, a great bull shark, swimming in the water. A great bull shark, a great bull shark. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh, can you believe it? Something came along and ate the great bull shark. What could it be? I don't know. Let's see. Are you ready? It's the big blue whale. <gasps> Do you see the big blue whale? Oh, he's so big. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to swim like the big blue whale. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our whale tail. It looks like this, okay? Put your elbow on your hand and you're gonna take your other hand, tuck in your middle fingers, leave out your pinky and your thumb. This is your whale tail. Here we go. The big blue whale, the big blue whale, swimming in the water. The big blue whale, the big blue whale, gulp, 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 gulp. <clears throat> Excuse you, big blue whale. My goodness, I think he forgot his manners. <laughs> That's what the big blue whale does. He just swims around and eats everything he sees. <laughs> very good, you guys. That's a very silly and fun sing-along song story, The Slippery Fish. Well done. The ocean is full of so many wonderful creatures and animals. In fact, that's one of the things we love most about the oceans are all of the animals that live there. This sing-along song is all about a little baby whale who lives in the ocean with his mama. And he's not just any whale, he's a beluga whale. This is the song Baby Beluga by Raffi. I hope you can sing along and enjoy. Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you? 
you guys. I hope you enjoyed that song about the little baby beluga whale and all of the adventures he has out in the ocean. Okay, now it's your turn to be an ocean animal. We're going to sing a song about all the animals in the ocean and what they do. As we sing along, I want you to try to do what the animals would do. Are you ready? All right, this song is called The Animals in the Ocean, and we're going to play and pretend to be animals in the ocean ourselves. We'll start off right up here in the corner with our friend, Mr. Shark. Are you ready? The shark in the ocean goes chomp, 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 chomp. The shark in the ocean goes chomp, 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 all day long. Good job. <laughs> all right, down below the shark is our seahorse. He rocks back and forth. Seahorse in the ocean rocks back. to go out and visit the ocean, but there's nothing like seeing the real thing. Near my house, there's a store that has a great big salt water aquarium, and living in that aquarium are lots of ocean fish and creatures. I visited there recently and took some video so that you could see some real ocean animals yourself. Take a look. We're here for our super simple craft, and for our super simple craft today, we're actually going to decorate some fish that live in the ocean. And now my daughter Erin is here with me. Erin, can you wave at everyone and say hi? <laughs> there she is. And she's gonna do this craft with me. And Erin, um, what is what do you think is the most common animal that lives in the ocean? Fish. 
I think you're right, I think it's fish. So we're gonna make some ocean fish. And do you know, what do fish have on the outside? What are they covered in? Dots. Not dots, they're called scales. Yeah. Yeah. Scales. Scales. So we're gonna put some scales on our fish. You see we have these nice fish here that we have printed out. And to make scales on our fish, we're going to do something called celery printing. So I took some celery and I just chopped it up into little kind of like little almost bite-sized pieces just so that it's easier for little hands to hold. And you'll see we have different sizes. We have some really big and some really small ones. And then we have some plates with different colors of paint. And we picked rainbow colors, but you can do any color you want. This is just um, basic um, washable acrylic paint um, from the store. And it's really easy. You're gonna take whatever shape celery you wanna start with and you're gonna dip it in the color you wanna start with, just a little bit, that's all you need. And then you're going to stamp the scales on the fish. And as you start to run out of paint, you just dip again. All right, I'm gonna do a whole row of red. And if you wanna use that same celery, you can just wipe it off on a napkin and then dip it in the next color. So I'm gonna do a row of Shared reading is the most important activity you can do with your child to help them develop the skills needed to learn how to read. Here are some of my favorite ocean-themed picture books for you to share together. The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Deason. Swim along with the Pout Pout Fish as he discovers that being glum and spreading dreary wearies isn't really his destiny. Bright ocean colors and playful rhyme come together in this fun fish story that's sure to turn even the poutiest of frowns upside down. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish by Jarrett Krasochka. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish are the very best of friends and they swim together throughout their ocean home. Krabby is their cranky neighbor. He is not their best friend. But when Krabby gets in trouble, will Peanut Butter and Jellyfish come to the rescue? See how friendship saves the day in peanut butter and jellyfish. Baby Beluga by Raffi. Singing supports and encourages even the youngest child's speech and listening skills, which makes Baby Beluga perfect for early learning. Join this adorable baby whale in a busy day at sea, culminating in a warm mother-child bedtime ending. With its delightful illustrations, this is the ideal sing-along book for a whole new generation of readers. Over in the Ocean in a Coral Reef by Marianne Burks. Brilliant artwork is the star of this oceanic counting book based on the classic children's song Over in the Meadow. Kids can sing, clap, and count their way among pufferfish that puff, gruntfish that grunt, and seahorses that flutter as they begin to appreciate the beautiful diversity of life in the ocean. A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carl. In this classic story, Hermit Crab grows out of one house after another as he searches for the perfect home. Children who experience the various changes that life inevitably brings will relate to Hermit Crab's situation and take heart as they see that growing up and changing isn't really so scary after all. Check out these books and so much more by visiting the Orange County Library System at www.ocls.info. Well, that was quite an ocean adventure we had today. And we did a lot, didn't we? Let's think. First, we counted some ocean friends who came out to play. 
Then we got to sing about the adventures of Slippery Fish. Then we heard the story of the three little fish and the big bad shark. We looked at some fun ocean picture books. We had a lot of fun today. Do you remember what letter we used for our ocean adventure? That's right, we used the letter O. This is the letter we use today. Its name is O. And the sound that O makes that we used for our ocean adventure is O. O. Just like in ocean. I think you'll find that you use that O sound quite a bit. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me. Before we say goodbye, let's sing our goodbye song. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, blow a great big kiss mwah, and wave goodbye. All right, my little story time adventurers, thank you as always for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.